Hello and welcome to this tutorial by Ricky Lee for RickyLee.com. In this tutorial you will learn a useful tool and if you want to by the end of this tutorial you will know how to remove this footer that's in the back end of your administrator login on your um, Joomla website. As you can see over here I'm going to go ahead it's not logged in and over here is when I have logged in. Now you first need to make sure that you know which template you're using. First go ahead and click into extensions after you log into your back end and for me over here I'm using this particular template on the site side and on the administrator side that's what I need to know if I'm going to change the administrator side I need to see which template I'm using you're running on your administrator side okay we're running Capri alright we're gonna go ahead and install it and then we're gonna go ahead and use it It's a free tool. Click on it. I'm going to go ahead and download it. Go back here. And we're going to click on install. Extension install. Click on browse. and locate where you downloaded that particular extension mine is here at Ninja Explorer go ahead and click upload and install ok as you can see install component success let's go ahead and come down in your components tab click on the ninja explorer let's click on the folder administrator because you're working on the administrator side of your website click into the folder templates and let's click on the folder for the te template that we are using okay I'm actually going to change that on my administrator side to reflect something else. Okay, let's go ahead and adjust this window so you can see what you want to change. I'm first going to change this target to the name of my website, rickylee.com. Okay, I'm going to change this to display regularly.com and this particular is free software I'm going to actually give it a space and then I'm going to type Copy right two zero six two two zero one zero right reserve period. I'm going to go back up top. 
I'm going to check return the directory after saving and I'm going to click save. And as you can see, the information at the bottom here has changed. Now it says rickyd.com copyright 2006 to 2010 all rights reserved. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you would like to see this or download it in high definition, please visit rickylee.com and register to access the download area.